tip She got the bed and get some grab grip Zany Wu on the fashion tip She got the bed and get some grab grip Zany Wu on the fashion tip She got the bed and get some grab grip Today's topic is cleaning out your closet. Cleaning out your closet is something that really should be done um, every season, but the most appropriate time I think to do it is after New Year's because you have a lot of things that you're trying to make room for, all your gifts and after holiday purchases. So you need to make room for those new things so you have to get rid of some of your older items. But everybody knows that it's kind of hard to get rid of some of your items, and if you've seen um, any episode of Hoarders, you can tell that it's really hard for some people to get rid of things because they have sentimental value, they hold memories and things like that, which brings us to our guest today, Brittany Spain. <laughs> she's a good friend of, she's a good friend of mine, and we were having drinks one night. And we were talking about stuff in our closet. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. And she was saying how she just had a suit from the eighth grade she just got rid of and didn't want to. And then casually she says, oh, and I have a t-shirt from the second grade that I still wear. What in the world? Second grade. So I said I knew I had to get in her closet and I knew I had to have her on the show today. So I hope you have that t-shirt with you today. Yes, I do. <laughs> Okay, so today what we're going to do is just go over a quick few tips on how to get started cleaning out your closet for Brittany and people like Brittany out there who like to hold on to stuff for a long time. Um, we'll go through the quick and dirty way of jumping into that. So the first thing that you should do in cleaning out your closet is something that's very simple. Um, just go through and take out all of your empty hangers because a lot of times with the empty hangers in your closet, you can't see exactly what you're working with. So that just helps clear things out so you can see clearly. After you do that, um, I think you should go through, and everybody, when I started talking about sentimental items, everyone probably finds something in your closet that you have. Um, so go to those things and try to figure out if you need to keep those or not. So Brittany, where's your t-shirt? <laughs> Let's start with that. T-shirt. Okay, from the second grade, and torn and everything, and it still fits. <laughs> okay, so what do you normally use this t-shirt for? Well, this is just like, you know, around the house where mm -hmm. if I have to run to Publix or something, I'll wear a shirt under it. She wears it out of the house, okay. I'll put a shirt under it. Under it, yeah. All my businesses are okay. out. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, but do you have other items, like another t-shirt maybe in your wardrobe that you could use that maybe doesn't have a hole in it? that you don't have to wear something underneath it. But this is so comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable, but do you have something that maybe is a little more newer? I mean, I definitely think you got your money's worth out of this t-shirt. It's done its time and then some. But it's just so nice. It's, 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 it's really nice. It's, it's really, really nice. Good shirt, okay, so. but the point I'm trying to make is just that if you get rid of this, it's mm -hmm. just the rest, then you have room for something more updated that you don't have to put so much fuss in to wear. So what, what we're gonna do with this shirt right now is just put this in a pile, or maybe give away a pile, okay? okay? So we're gonna put that here. Um, so after you go through your sentimental items to try to figure out which, which things you can part with, and if you have something that you really can't part with, then I think you should store it somewhere outside of your closet. But don't get to the point where you have a whole nother closet full of sentimental things. So keep it down to one or two things that you store outside of your closet. So then after that, you should go through each item in your closet and look for things that are torn, ripped, or peeled. Too big, too small, things like that. So um, you have something here from your closet that's kind of This what? is a combination of too big, okay, and it's comfortable, but okay. it's, it's still too big and a little maybe broken. How is it broken, Brittany? Well, my button popped off, okay. and I just haven't had a chance to put a new one on, so I just wear a belt. Okay, I it. all right. Yeah. So, so it sounds to me like Brittany does a lot of extra work to try to make things that are older work still, like they're updated. 
What I'm trying to say is if you had a pair of jeans where the button did fit and it did fit you well, then you wouldn't have to do all that extra stuff, you know, like the belt or the t-shirt underneath the t-shirt. So I think we should put this in our maybe giveaway pouch too because, I mean, they're still wearable. Maybe yes, somebody they else yes, they could repair and wear. Not you. Maybe somebody else. <laughs> so we're going to put this in our maybe giveaway pile too. Okay. Um, so after you go through all of your items to try to figure out which one um, should be given away, and this includes any items that you have not worn in the last six to eight months. So I know you probably have other items here that you have not worn in the last six to eight months maybe. Okay. <laughs> so you should go through all of those items too. Um, and if you haven't worn them in a year or more, just go ahead and give them away. You know, because the space in your closet is viable uh, real estate and it should be reserved for staple items like um, a black dress or a statement coat. You know, things like that. A white t-shirt or a white button-down shirt. Those are items that everybody should have and you need to have room for those things. Um, I know it's hard to get rid of things, but they're just things, you know? Intellectual property is the memories that you have because of those things and the things that happen, and nobody can take that away from you. So, um, now that you have um, decided which things you're going to give away, which I think we're going to give these away, <laughs> then you have to decide what you're going to do with them. Um, you can either have a swap party, a lot of people are doing that with your gently used items and exchanging them with friends. Or maybe you have a friend that is coveted your pair of jeans you can give them to, or you can donate your items to any shelter, or you can go to a consignment shop and get cash. But there are things that you can do with those items that you're no longer needing. And when in doubt, just give to those who are in need. That's what I do. Everybody's going to do that. <laughs> so we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about how to incorporate the newer items that you're moving inside of your closet. Um, how you can style those items with things that are already there in your closet. So um, when we come back, we'll talk about that with Brittany. <laughs> 